Hey, hello everybody, this is Moltenon once again, and this is a quick mini follow-up tutorial to my last tutorial, which is studying Shape Extruder, and for, for those of you who don't know what that is, then just go to maltanon.com, that is M-A-L-T-A-A-N-O-N.com, and you'll find the address at the end of this mini tutorial. I see that even though I tried to explain as clearly as possible how to work with this shape extruder, some of you still have some troubles working with it. So I'm recording this for a guy uh, who signed himself Paul Posix. Is that yeah Posix? Um, what he wrote is I have a logo that I want to make 3D with your shape extruder, and this is the logo. Uh, so we can see it's it's a shape and it's a PNG file. And that's the main problem, because Shape Extruder work with vector layers. But we can fix that. And, okay, here we go. First of all, I brought the logo into Illustrator. You can, of course, do it in Photoshop as well. And I drew an outline of the logo, which sits, which is important, I, I think, inside of the strokes. Because, as you see, the logo has some strokes in it, and you can definitely see what was done in uh, Photoshop. And then I moved it into After Effects, used my 3D Shape Extruder, and this is what I came up with, which is, I guess, the same thing that uh, POSIX wanted to achieve. First of all, let's just import the PNG file for a reference, and we are going to need it anyway. Let's make a new comp, uh, 500 by 300, okay, whatever. And yes, let's drop it in. And let's go to Illustrator, you can turn this off, select path, edit, copy, move to After Effects, create new solid layer, color doesn't matter really, and edit, paste, that's it, let me just turn off the logo for now, and go to file, scripts, run script file, and here's the script file that you can get on readyfinery.com. I've described it on my website, so I won't waste your time doing it right now. So we can get rid of the original layer. And the thing that we want to do right now is to match it up a bit better. And to do that, we can just move the paths. So let's just select them both and use our arrow keys to do that. Of course, what we really need is just this black outline, uh, this black stroke that to be extruded, right? But uh, just to show you how you can recreate this kind of logo using vector shapes uh, in After Effects CS3, I'll just redo the whole thing from scratch in After Effects. So, okay, so once we have moved the paths to the right position, uh, we can close them into a group, which is a good approach, I think. And since those two parts make up the whole logo, right? So now when you want to fill it or do, you know, just, just to keep everything organized, uh, let's call this shape. And right now let's add a gradient fill since we have a gradient fill going on in here. So like this, we have the handles in here. So we can just move them to the right position like so. And now we would like to take the colors from the original file. So just click here and change the black to this orange and change the white to this light orange in here. And that's it. Well, it's a pretty close match. Right now we need to make those three strokes, orange, white and black. So let's do that right now. Let's add a stroke. Just to save you some time, I'll just you know, do a quick match like this. Uh, okay. As you can see, we have a first problem. Those are sharp ends, sharp edges in the, uh, in the stroke. So we can fix that by choosing round join, and that's it. And one more thing. As you can see, the stroke is going inside of the fill as well. So to fix that, we can just move the orange fill above the stroke. Okay, and now we can duplicate the stroke, call it white, white stroke, change the color to white, of course, and set the width, and duplicate it again, 
black stroke and change the color to black and stroke width okay so we have the logo recreated basically it's uh, it's the same thing but we can still put the original PNG file on top of it so you know we, re we retain the uh, original file exactly as it was like I said we don't need to recreate the whole thing from scratch in here but just in case you needed to uh, this is why I showed you this and oh yeah we have this um, glowing going on so I, can, I will show you how to get that glow uh, into this layer so let's just duplicate the vector logo let's call this vector logo face and here we can get rid of all these strokes I think because the only thing that we need to uh, leave untouched is this face and in here we can apply layer styles but beware applying layer styles on 3d layers and we are going to switch those to 3d layers soon is going to change the order they appear so I've mentioned that in the original tutorial uh, called uh, CE shape extruder so yeah let's do an inner glow which looks okay I think 100% uh, and size, let's set the size to 10 and let's turn it back on, let's turn this all back on yeah it looks pretty similar to the original I think okay so now the big thing let's put the camera in yep let's change those to 3d layers and I'll, you know, I'll just get rid of the face because we don't need it, it was just a demo demonstration and now let's apply my 3d shape extruder to the vector logo layer and as you remember now it's a good thing to duplicate the logo group and put it inside the extrusion group and that's basically it I think and now we can parent the vector logo layer to the original PNG layer and now scale the original PNG layer so it fits into the comp and take the orbit camera tool and voila we have a 3d logo made so let's make we can make the density a bit smaller like 100 and depth to 20 I guess yeah that looks pretty nice and now just to do some final touch-ups uh, we can apply uh, light sweep effect to the PNG layer and like in the uh, studying shape extruder tutorial we can now use a pick whip tool to point the center of the light sweep to be our reference point that is provided by my uh, 3d shape extruder and let's see how that looks oh yeah pretty cool and uh, let's increase the width and maybe the edge intensity and thickness because that looks pretty cool oh yeah and now just to make a quick background with the vignetting going on which I really like in this case and, oh yeah it's it's a quick tip to do a uh, nice vignetting without using mask and stuff like that just apply the circle effect which generates a circle and we can change the mode to normal and click on invert circle change the radius change the color to black and increase the feathering and there you go so POSIX I hope you've enjoyed this quick uh, YouTube tutorial and I hope all of you guys enjoyed it as well make sure to visit my website at www.maltanon.com that is m-a-l-t-a-a-n-o-n.com and make sure to post some comments and check out the shape extruder it's really cool and make sure to visit me from time to time okay that's all for today see you later guys cheers